Hello, my friends. This has been a difficult couple of weeks for me because those of you who know me know how much I love to hug as well as receive them. I came home from work on Tuesday and I told my husband, I just need some extra cuddle time. I am feeling so hug starved. And he totally understood how I was feeling. So I thought, well, I'm going to I'm going to look up in God's word and, and see what he has to say about it. And so I found that in the second part of Ecclesiastes 3, 5, it says, there is a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. And um, although hugging is a normal and um, agreeable for most people, there are seasons in our lives that make it hazardous to our health. And now is one of those seasons. It is not easy for those of us who thrive on hugs from family and friends and, and our church family who we're missing now because we can't meet. But then I was reminded of how much the Lord loves me and cares for me. And I was comforted by his words in Isaiah 41.10, it says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And just knowing that God is holding me in his hand uh, just snapped me out of it and uh, redirected my focus from all the craziness going on around the world and back onto him where it belongs because he's the one that um, is holding me and carrying me through uh, this time. And so if you are feeling a bit depressed about being isolated and hug starved, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Open the Bible and read some of the Psalms and his sweet words to you of his love and comfort and care for you. And put on some worship music and just sing praises to the one who loves you and comforts you in all of your anxieties. Then go get a big hug from who's ever living in your home, be it your spouse or your children or even your pets, and tell them how much you love them. And just know that I am thinking about you and praying for you. And when things get back to, and, and until things get back to uh, somewhat normal, I am sending you one of my big virtual hugs. So God bless you and have a wonderful day.